our ministers and also lead pastor of the Celebration Church at Iowa Heights and in Indiana. His educational accomplishments include a BA in Public Affairs from Anderson College, Love Anderson University, and an MS in Business Administration and Executive Leadership and a Certificate in Business Management, Marketing, and Related Support Services from Johns Hopkins University. It's not been around. Uh, I, I just a little of this here. Um, he develops movement wide leadership. Yeah, so develop movement wide leadership pipeline resources to serve senior pastors in the U.S. and Canada and the Caribbean. Can I like this? Yeah, Reverend Smith's current work in terms of God ministries involves leading a team of dynamic leaders that serve over 2,000 churches and over 6,000 ministers. Uh, professional minister of 40 years, pastoral leadership, music ministry, church turnaround strategy. Could you come here, please? In that one, please. Um, I'm going to interview your brother. Let's go here, please. Um, grab a, grab a mic. <laughs> Does he know to turn it on? I'll grab on his camera, right? Now, the first time he spoke by phone a couple of years ago, I remember, um, I was picking some apples and uh, I started telling them I was picking apples. And um, then I, I, I said, well, you don't know what they are. And I answered him, well, yeah, man, I'm Jamaican man. Walk, 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 walk. So that took me by surprise, I remember. And, but this is your third trip here, is it? I believe so, yes. Third trip, yes, yes. Um, and what exactly is your position in the church? What do you do? <laughs> and I said something like that. Some people would say the chief bottle washer. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, no, I get to serve our United States and Canada as executive director, uh, where we support our churches, helping to develop uh, healthy churches, healthy pastors, uh, to credential and prepare leaders, uh, the next generation of leaders for ministry across Amen. North America. Amen. And, uh, that includes quite a bit. Yes. But it's exciting. It's a great opportunity. Amen. And church planting. Church too. planting. Now, you know why she, um, you've been our dean, am I correct? I will be on March 5th. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> a 13th. Yeah, but in March. Yeah. yeah. I'll be right where Victoria Smith. Victoria Smith. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, um, how did we meet? My story is, <laughs> um, we met at Anderson University, our college, the Church of God's College there in Indiana, and uh, he played the piano and I sang, uh -huh. and we didn't have any money, so <laughs> we needed to eat, you know, have, and so we went out singing, yes, and yes. he would play and I would sing, and we uh -huh. might make $20. And then we go eat. <laughs> no, 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 you know Reverend David Carter, of course. Yes. He told me that we knew you at the U. You used to be at the front uh, when we into the cafeteria with the food. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he told, I didn't remember you, but he I worked at the uh, front desk yeah. and took the people's tickets. Yes, you were the first person to saw who went into the cafeteria. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Imagine that. Yeah, so um, what's your story? How did you meet? <laughs> well, truth is, I, 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 we actually met uh, in, in Anderson, but. What drew you to her? Yeah. What drew me? Yeah. Uh, it was her, uh, her love for people, yeah. her incredible psalmist ability to, be, uh, to sing and to minister, her, uh, her understanding of the Word of God and her beauty, oh hallelujah. <laughs> oh yes, it was a beauty. Yes, and the spiritual too. <laughs> I, I knew the same thing about him, the beauty. Just a little bit about your family, your family. Yeah, tell us about your family. Um, I come from a family, um, my mom got saved, 
And she was the only one saved in, our, in her family, extended family, and she would bring us to church and bring all seven of us to church with us. Seven. Yeah, and um, then we all became musicians. All of us play instruments. I play the string bass. My brother plays the cello. All the rest of them play the violin or some kind of orchestra instrument because our mom wanted to keep us off the streets, mm. so she made us play instruments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My big six foot tall brothers with the little violins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but it did work, and so now we're all in ministry, all, yeah. all of my brothers and sisters. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so I came over from Jamaica, West Indies. Uh, at nine years old and landed in Washington, D.C., uh, 35 below, and I told my parents to s send me back home. <laughs> it's entirely too cold, but we landed there and we were uh, met by a wonderful family and church family there at National Memorial Church of God in Washington, D.C. Her father was the minister of music there, um, um, along with uh, Samuel Hines, some of you may know him. Um, they were married. He was he actually married my parents and christened me. And, um, and then from there, uh, we landed there in Washington, D.C. and God did a work through us and in us. <laughs> so Hondo's dad is the minister of music at the church. And so he wanted to name all of them after musical, instrument, uh, musical composers. And that is why his name is Hondo. Wow. And he has a brother named Haydn. Uh, and then he has a little brother whose dad wanted to name him Tchaikovsky. <laughs> but the brother said, no, please, dad, don't do it. <laughs> we beg you. And then he named him Peter, which is Peter Tchaikovsky. Yeah. Right? So. <laughs> now, some of us are complaining and taking too much time. But one, one last question. Uh, what is your passion in life? To lead women and boys and girls and children. I usually work with the children's ministry, the women's ministry, to know the Lord and to know him in a personal way so that they can live life and win in life and to do everything that God has called them. Yes, we go through trials, tribulations, but with Christ Jesus, he makes everything all right. Hallelujah. He said, don't preach. <laughs> Testing one, two, three? No, maybe? Well, yeah, the Lord has called me really, uh, when I think of the, the mission of uh, Jesus in Luke 4 and Isaiah 61, um, a loving leader helping people and ministries to reach their full potential in Jesus. In Jesus. And God has called us uh, to really this opportunity to preach the good news of the gospel to the hurting, to the poor, to those that are bound and hurting, and to to declare the year of God's favor, yeah. Yeah. so that we'll become oak trees of righteousness unto God. So I'm just delighted as an opportunity to be a mission, a missionary mm -hmm. for for Jesus, helping to seek and save mm -hmm. the lost. Amen.